Are you stuck in your current job, longing for a change but unsure where to start? If so, you're not alone. In a world where change can be intimidating, it's easy to settle for the familiar. But what if something greater awaits you just beyond the horizon? In this video, we will delve into the signs that indicate it's time to change your job career and why pursuing a purpose-driven path can lead to greater fulfillment. Welcome to Slakab, a place to embrace freedom, unleash your true self, and discover life's untold treasures. Let's discuss the difference between a job and a career. A job is money-motivated. You need to pay your bills, get a job as an administrator, security attendant, etc. On the other hand, a career is purpose and growth motivated. It involves deliberate planning and could involve taking several jobs within your chosen field or industry. As a designer, you could take up a teaching job to sustain you while you attend a boot camp. And once you start as a designer, it's still possible to change your jobs while you move up your career ladder. Now, let's consider why you might want to change your job or career. The future looks blurry. Your future is the moment yet to be experienced. What does your current career path or job tell you about your future? When you started on your current career path, at least the goal was to move up the career ladder. But after working in the field for a few years, the idea of moving up this career ladder leaves you weak in the knees. Compare your current state with who you were when you started your career and use that to judge how far you would have gone in years. You're bored. The fact that you hiss every Sunday evening should be a clear warning sign. Yes, you go to work starting Monday, not skipping a day till the weekend, but you find out that you did your job with no happiness. Let's say when you first started, you were excited about it every single day. You look forward to the job every morning because you learn something new and get vitalized by every task. But now, it seems it isn't as thrilling as before. You're not excited about showing up. And though you may still do your work, you may not be motivated to do the job anymore. It's a time to make a change whenever you stop feeling challenged or things become too predictable. You're suffering from burnout. Are you always tired, depleted, and worn out from work? You may be dealing with burnout if you're constantly drained at the end of the week, emotionally, mentally, and physically. Believe us, you need a rest because your health and sanity depend on this. You shouldn't at any rate stay at your job when you're disengaged from it or your productivity has dropped. Go on a vacation to fully confirm this point. It may be all you need if you come back refreshed and ready to work. There's no healthy work-life balance. If your job is taking a significant part in your personal life, it may be time to reevaluate your decisions when you start losing friends or your loved ones complain. If your personal life will not allow you to commit to your job or your job is affecting your schedules, time with family or your social activities, you should look for a job more suited to your lifestyle and balance it all. Your ideas aren't valued. Communication is essential at all levels. If you no longer feel like your ideas are being heard, it's a sign to start searching for a new job or start as a boss. Beyond being stressed if you're not engaged with the work or you aren't allowed to do so, you wouldn't exactly describe yourself as invested in its success. It seems you're not needed. Why stick around and hurt your sanity? Your values don't match. If you notice that the standard of the company's value doesn't match yours, it might be a sign that you need to change your environment. You shouldn't trust any illegal activity or any form of harassment at your place of work. Don't let go of your values because of your career. They define who you are. Your potentials aren't in use. Your career should evolve around your skills and potential. The only thing you would always be passionate about is what brings you to use your most vital talent. If you stumble upon a profession that will use this skill and pay you an equal or greater amount, then pursuing it may not be a bad idea. That way you would always be glad to show up and do what's expected. If you're bored in your current career, try switching to another that takes advantage of your skills and potential. You've lost your confidence. For no reason should you allow your self-esteem to suffer. 
It's a clear sign that you need a change whenever you start to lose belief in yourself and doubt your abilities. Your career should boost your productivity and help you in other aspects of life. Remember, your career is a big part of your identity and it somehow defines who you're. You don't have to put up with a job killing your self-esteem. Also, if you hate talking about work or roll your eyes whenever someone asks you about your job, that may be a sign that you must change. Your pay versus workload. Most people put off a career switch because of their pay and benefits. For some, their compensation is the only reason they stick around in the job. If the sole reason you show up every day at work is for the check, then it's probably time to move on. When you work from a survival mindset, you will always fear taking risks and making decisions. Also, it's true that money matters, but if you're being paid without an increase in your productivity level, what's the essence of staying? On the other hand, if your workload is more than your pay or you feel used, consider a change. Occasionally, your company will have a good reason to assign more work. Maybe they suddenly lost an employee. But if the cause isn't enough for you, don't just sit down there. What's next? While it's important to take into consideration how passionate you are about your work and how excited you are to get up in the morning, there's a difference between waking up unexcited and knowing that your day-to-day -day activities are bringing you closer to a larger goal and waking up unexcited and knowing that your work is meaningless, said Jesse Beyer, a personal development coach. Self-reflection goes a long way. Reflect on what you know about yourself at your current job and as you consider a new career. A career transition may include a step down before you can move up. How much must you take? Define your dream job and state your interests. Take a realistic look at what pursuing your interest at work means because the truth is that no job will be perfect. Know what you want and go for it. Parting question. Would you leave your job today if you were financially secure? Kindly write your response in the comment section. We will be there to read it.